Hello, it's me, Mayo Hosco, coming to you at 60 frames per second in 4K resolution. No sugar, no filler, just real whole egg, and welcome to my channel. Hello, it's me, Mayo Hosco, and this is a little bit of a different video that I am bringing to you. At the time of recording this, it is almost 3am and I have to do a university presentation in a little over 12 hours time. But I was scrolling through my phone, my old iPhone 8, some of you guys know, well... I'm sure the majority of you guys know that I do the majority of my filming on an iPhone 13 because it has 60 frames per second and it films in 4K. Some of you guys might remember I did a premiere live stream about four months ago where I bid farewell to the iPhone 8. But upon testing out the recording function from the iPhone version of iMovie, I found out that the internal microphone still works out well with the voiceover tool from the ruffled up internal microphone. So I'm giving this a little bit of a test and really I just wanted to show off all of the different Lego related images on my phone. That one there wasn't. So yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, that that's the that's the kind of of um editing you're gonna get. But soon that's gonna all change. Because as I revealed to my Patreon pledges, I bought a MacBook Pro. It is thirteen inches and I will be doing the majority of my filming on my iPhone 13 and uploading those videos to my MacBook Pro so I can do all of my editing from the desktop version of iMovie. What that means is I will be able to have better control of expanded editing options so there should be more different types of default iMovie music I can use I hopefully I will have full access to the complete iMovie sound effects library and the full iMovie music library because I have watched people on YouTube who do all of their editing in the iMovie editing editing software and I'd always be jealous of all of the different iMovie music options they were able to use in their videos because they didn't just have an iPhone for iMovie. They had an actual Apple computer. So now that I have an actual Apple computer, I'm going to be able to utilize all of those different types of editing options that were not previously at my disposal because I was restricted to the mobile app version of iMovie. So as someone who has really gotten into trying to edit more of my videos to improve the quality of my videos, I'm very excited about what the future entails with me because I am able to now edit all of my content on the computer version of iMovie. So that's very exciting and I can't wait to bring you videos in the future with all of those expanded editing options. A great benefit about my MacBook Pro over my HP laptop that I have been using for uh, about six years now, which includes editing videos 
on Windows Movie Maker. Some of you guys might remember the videos I have filmed on the Mayo Hosco channel that used Windows Movie Maker. I don't use that anymore because I switched over to the iPhone app of iMovie and now I'm moving on up again going to the Mac version of iMovie. So there's definitely an evolution of technology upgrades at the Mayo Hosco channel and I wouldn't have been able to make all of those upgrades if it wasn't for my loyal pledges on Patreon who have invested in the Mayo Hosco channel and have helped me upgrade my technology throughout my last two and a half years back on YouTube after I came back from a four year hiatus. And all that being said, in January, I will be celebrating my 10 year anniversary. The great thing about my new MacBook Pro is that that does not require an external microphone. Although throughout my live streams, I will be doing different tests and trials to see if the already fantastic internal microphone of the MacBook Pro can be further enhanced by an external microphone. So I will have to put that to the test with people who watch my live streams. I know that dozens of you watching this video right now already watch my live streams because you know that I go live at 9 p.m. on Friday nights in North America, which now that North America has come out of daylight savings and is back into standard time, means that I go live at 1 p.m. every Saturday in the Australian Eastern Daylight Time. So I should probably remind you guys that I target my audience for North America because that's where the majority of the eyeballs are on youtube.com. So it only makes sense for me to want to target the North American audience because that's where the most eyeballs are. And some of you guys might re remember after YouTube decided to lower their threshold for YouTube channels to be able to utilize the community tabs for the longest of time, they capped it at 500. You had to have 500 subscribers, but they lowered their thresholds about a week ago at the, at the time of this filming. So I'm glad YouTube lowered their thresholds because I've been enjoying doing community tabs and some of you guys might remember in one of those community tabs, I put up a poll asking where my audience comes from. And at the time of this filming, the last time I checked, about 70% of the respondents came from the Americas. And I think a surprising 13% came from Europe, which was pretty good, because I know that um, I have one or two people from Europe that watch my videos and they know who they are. People like Rula and Axel Plate and all of those guys who regularly watch other people's videos. And there's a whole bunch of people all across the world who regularly watch me and they know who they are and you know who they are because you're probably also a regular viewer of the Mayo Hosco channel. So you always see their names in the comments of my videos and you always see their names in the comments of my live streams and in return they always see you see it's a wonderful community the lego online youtube community because we're all in this together and a lot of people have mutual support for each other because i absolutely love watching people's city updates but what really makes me happy is when they watch me in return for my city updates, 
then they decide to watch other types of videos from me, then I want to watch other types of videos from them because they watch other types of videos from me and I like to keep that mutual support going. So anyway, that was a little bit off tangent about technology, but I hope that you will be able to eventually see the fruits of my labor with all of my technological upgrades. I couldn't be more thankful of my Patreon pledges, who at the time of this filming is Ambalaya Builds, Macro Bricks, Sharon Stevens, Venomous Typen, and Captain Matt. You can find their channel links in the description, or if they don't have a YouTube channel, you can find their Instagram or their Facebook links in the channel description. So I couldn't be more appreciative of people who pledged me on Patreon. And also, that goes without saying, as I've said in a couple pieces of content before the time of this filming, if you want to help me get to Brick World Chicago 2023, consider using the link in the description to go and pledge to me on Patreon. Help me raise the funds to pay for those expensive aeroplane tickets. Help me get to Brick World Chicago because some of you guys may or may not know I live in the state of South Australia. I am not American. I am not British. I am not European. I am Australian. Some reason a lot of people think I'm either American or British, probably because of the time when I upload my live streams and upload my videos, which means that's worked. My upload times ha are convenient for North Americans in particular, so no wonder they think I also live in North America. So I'm glad that the YouTube algorithm has worked out like that. Thank you, YouTube. So... I look forward to making more videos in the future. I can't wait to play around with the different editing tools of the computer version of iMovie. And I'm glad that I don't have to use an external microphone with my new MacBook Pro, but I definitely will be experimenting by adding my external microphone. And who knows, maybe I might even get enough people pledging to me on Patreon where I might be able to get myself a pop filter. There are certain aspects that I still would rather record a video on my old HP laptop because it uses the Windows system and Macs use the Apple internal operating system, that's what iOS stands for, internal operating system, and when I'm doing certain pieces of content, there is stuff I can only access on Windows, likewise, there is stuff I can only access on the iOS, so I am not done with filming videos on my old HP laptop, because sometimes it's just more convenient for me to film stuff on there because I can go and grab stuff from Microsoft Word of which I have a Windows license for and I don't want to have to pay for a Windows license on my MacBook Pro so I'm going to keep on using my HP laptop until the day it dies so I can utilize my, f my free Microsoft Office 365 license. So I am very happy with how I've been able to upgrade my technology. I hope you will too. I look forward to seeing you in my next live stream. I look forward to seeing you in my next short if there's something funny and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys. Thank you.